and Voxel Blade, the most important part of progressing, making a stronger character is designing and customizing your sword. All right. Now I'm going to give you a complete guide on exactly how that all works. Anyway, to get into it, you're going to start out with a basic blade and essentially how it works is you can upgrade your blade into different, through different paths and end up with very cool blades. So for example, you can go from basic blade to a uh, King's dagger blade, or maybe you go to a curved magic blade, you know, whatever you want to do. The idea is that can be accomplished. And then also there is kind of, it works the exact same way, except there's apart from the basic blades, you can also get like holy blades and fire blades and elemental blades, and they have their own unique trees, but it works the exact same way as the basic blade. You just upgrade it through whatever path you want and you can get these specialized swords. So I'm going to show you guys a quick example of how this works because it'll be important and also for other parts of this video. So anyway, to get right into it, let's say I start with a basic blade. I want to make a super powerful mage greatsword blade. All right. I have a basic blade. I start the game with it. Sure. I upgrade it to a mage blade for five SP. I'm going to show you that menu a bit later in this video. But anyway, I just spend, all you have to know is you, you level up, you gain SP, you spend five SP to get a mage blade from a basic blade. All right. And now I decide I want to go for a great mage blade. So I spend 20 SP this time. And now I have a great mage blade and no, look at these stats, right? So now my damage scalings are 0.5. My damage type is full magic, so all my damage is dealt as magic damage, and I gain some stat boost and a perk, right? This perk, Magic Guard, you might think, oh, it doesn't mean much. Magic Guard releases a blast of magic energy around you when someone hits you while blocking, right? So already my weapon's gaining some perks. It's becoming a little more unique, right? Okay, now from a Great Mage Blade, I want to upgrade it to Grand Magic Great Blade. So now I do it again. My damage scalings are even higher now, so I'm doing more damage per magic point I have. And then uh, I gain more stat boost and a new perk, right? So you get the idea of how this works. You go down the tree, you get better perks. Um, that's kind of how the system works. And uh, so you're thinking that's it, right? No, that's not it. Uh, that that works the exact same way for handles, right? Handles have the basically the exact same tree. Everything on the weapon tree is essentially on handles tree, it just as a handle. So the stats are very similar. It all works basically the same way. You know, you go from uh, we'll say you go from a holy wood handle and then maybe you get a um, pure wood handle, right? And now you're doing holy magic damage with your handle. So basically you're mixing matching blades to show you this menu. Uh, this is this video. So I didn't, I didn't get this, but um, as you see on the, here you have your handle, your blade. I'll talk about weapon arts in a little bit, but you just put in together your handle and blade and you have your weapon, right? Um, not that complicated. As you see, you have SP up here and you have the upgrade on the right. Uh, and that would be how you would upgrade your weapon, I would assume. So uh, hopefully that kind of clears up any confusion. I'm gonna start getting into the abilities. Um, but just to summarize, you have a web uh, or a tree of weapons and you just upgrade your sword through that tree. However, you wanna specialize your character. If you wanna go magic, go mage blade. If you wanna go like fire, go a fire blade and just get through it and then you can specialize your character and make sure you're doing that for both blades and handles. All right, now I'm going to get into weapon arts. All right, weapons learn weapon arts, right? Um, pretty simple. I'm not exactly sure what it takes to unlock every single weapon art, right? Cause obviously you can't, as, as I see from this video, not every weapon can have every weapon art, but it looks to me, you just choose one weapon art for your weapon um, for whenever it's there and you get some cool effects. So for example, you could have one, like we'll click this one, undead bunny summon. There you go. You summon an undead bunny that I assume works with you, right? Pretty cool, pretty easy. Uh, hopefully that just makes sense, works for you. Uh, flamethrower, right? Last to stream of flames for it. Right, pretty simple. Uh, so just whatever abilities you want, choose whatever one you like, that easy. All right, and there's more. You also have gloves, all right? Gloves kind of have the same tree system as the handles and blades, but it's not as similar because, you know, the gloves are a little more unique. So you're gonna have to mix and match more, figure out what's best for your build. All right, so as you see, again, you just start at the top of the tree with the basic gloves. You're gonna upgrade it down to whatever you want. Um, for example, if I'm going a magic build, I might want the snowman gloves, which are magic and AOE. So let me go over there. Um, and these gloves will get stats like magic scaling, damage types, again, very similar. I get stat boost, tenacity, and then I also get a perk. So like, if I really like this perk, lending 10 hits a short period of time, creates an ice storm, ice storm, I'll go for it, right? Um, 
pretty simple. I've already I've already gone over the system many times, so that should be pretty self-explanatory to you guys. Um, again, SP I'm pretty sure is just earned from leveling up, and then you're gonna get in a menu like this. Configure your handle, your blade, your weapon art, and uh, upgrade it as you go. Hopefully this helped you guys. Um, I'm gonna link this Trello in the description. So if you wanna look through all this stuff, start planning out your build, uh, do that. And um, yeah, I, I really hope this helped. I hope this cleared up confusions. Uh, I haven't actually even played the game yet, to be honest, but I've looked through all the Trello pretty extensively. This is, I'm like almost 99% sure this is how it works, but if something really doesn't seem right, do some extra research. Uh, I might be wrong on some of these things. But yeah, um, I really hope this helped you guys. Uh, have fun in the game. Good luck.